Time now to check in with Sean Quinn. Lots of boats out there. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And uh, real quick, Tracy, I want to get into the uh, the Bay of Campeche, right? Campeche, or Campeche, uh, down there in the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, there's an area of disturbance right now about to form, and we're going to have to watch this very closely over the next several days because its trajectory and possible strengthening to a tropical system is expected to take it, guess where, right at Louisiana and the southeast, and then possibly getting into the Atlantic, which would put it way over here. So uh, these tropical systems this time of year is something we have to watch very, very closely, and it looks like something of uh, significant concern right now. Larry is still drifting west right here, possibly going to be affecting uh, Bermuda. So they're going to watch that closely. Then it's expected to sort of turn up toward Canada in a direction that it's going to push a lot of surf up and down the East Coast, but it should not directly affect them as far as any real significant storm, uh, wind, and rain. So that's good news. Now, something that we could use is a little bit of rain, of course, not on the radar right now. There's the French fire, your uh, uh, Dixie, and to the south, of course, the Calder. And then the big one over here is the Monument fire. Um, wow, just still really busy. Also busy is our heat advisory map. It should clean up in about 24 hours. We should start to lose most of these uh, these um, yeah, orange colors across the board and maybe even those reds, which of course are the heat warning and red flag conditions, which uh, go without saying throughout much of California. Currently seeing 60s, 70s along the beaches and then boom right there. That's that little uh, area. That's our, our, our favorite area to pick on as far as the microclimate uh, that seems to pop up quite a bit this time of year and all, all through summer any time of year actually. Uh, anytime you have a little bit of a north wind or that direction of northwest and turning north, that's where we get that microclimate and that warmth right there along the Gaviota coast. And look how dry it is compared to your neighbors, uh, even almost competing with some of our well inland areas. And you're right on the beach right there, but boy, just bone dry. Uh, marine layer, otherwise kind of the story up and down the coast, but it minus that Gaviota section right there. No official watches or advisories, so that's the good news. High pressure is digging its heels in across the region. It should be fairly temporary in that it will hopefully see it start to back off by about Tuesday, Wednesday. And of course, as it does, the air sinks, brings in uh, less marine layers, so you start to warm up. But then hopefully by midweek toward next weekend, we start to go back the other way. And that means we start to see a cooling condition as the onshore flow strengthens and uh, helps to open up the door to get more of the onshore flow. A little wild card, though, is the monsoon. We may have to watch that as we go uh, to about Wednesday, Thursday, possibly into Friday, Saturday. Uh, those clouds that typically stay into the desert southeast may get strong enough and start to drift over Southern California and even some of the backsides of some of our mountain ranges. You can see right there, little shots of energy rushing up toward our coastal ranges on the opposite side, not the beach side, the inland side, and then maybe drifting over to the beach side as we head toward the middle and second half of the work week. Otherwise, marine layer, just another quiet day expected kind of absent in the channel, but uh, anyone knows if you were in any part, parts of this channel this morning, we did see some marine there, uh, not likely around Gaviota, but portions of southern Santa Barbara County and then down into Ventura County could still see uh, just enough marine there tomorrow morning. And then watch what happens as we head toward Tuesday. It really fills in, so we see that switch going back to more uh, stronger onshore flow. Wind should not be a problem other than right about now toward the evening. It picks up a little bit, kind of lingers, and then drops off fast. So that's the good news. We expect to see that going away over the next day or so and not having those little bursts of northern northerly flow. And there's your high temperatures tomorrow, boy, and how. But then watch what happens as we click it toward Tuesday. This is the good news. We should see a nice little drop right there, but perhaps coming back up slightly as we go toward Wednesday. So that's going to be the ebb and flow of that onshore flow will be all week long. And there's your nice localized temperatures. It looks like a beautiful day for the south coast as we head west and north of Point Conception into the 70s and 60s near the beaches, 80s and 90s, and triple digits again for those hottest inland areas. So it will be a warm one one more time. Surf, they said, and I'm not going to say exactly who, that we have a little south swell up there. I did not see it, but there is a mix. There's definitely some wind swell and supposedly a south swell lingering out there somewhere. It's pretty small. And there's your temperatures all week long. It looks like a nice week ahead. The only variable that might play with our, our marine layer and warmth inland will be, Tracy, that chance of seeing some monsoons flow kind of lingering in and around our eastern mountains, possibly out to the beaches. We've been warned. Thank you. Coming up, the Foresters have reason to celebrate, and this year they could do it with fans. That's still ahead on your local news channel live at 6.